What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Merry Poshmas podcast. I'm Lincoln. I'm A-Bomb. I knew you'd have Mary in there somewhere. Yeah, it had to be. I hoped so. I forgot what I was actually going to say, so I just kind of threw Poshmas in there. Oh, okay. Because it's like, like Posh Spice. Yeah, yeah. Mary Poshmas. Yeah. I assume that she has a... I got you. I, I would assume reference. that she probably has a, a Posh Christmas oh, yes. party every single year. Yes. So yeah, welcome to the last uh, MP podcast of the year. Um we're taking uh, – actually, we're taking two weeks off from the podcast. We are. Uh, into January. So we'll be back – I think it's January 10th will be the next – Okay. January 11th will be the next episode. Sounds good. Something like that before we record again. So, yeah. That's good. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time. Christmas. We put out our SodaStream video on Friday. We did. And where we carbonated – your favorite holiday drinks. <laughs> some uh, of them anyways. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. Uh, we carbonated eggnog, which actually wound up not being that bad. Yeah, it but was it, actually the better of the things that we which tried. Which is funny that we did it first. Um, totally. But it got, and I'm g- kind of glad that it went in the order that it did. Yeah. Because that was not staged. <laughs> and I didn't edit no. it that way. We did, oh my God, yeah, no. I didn't go best to worst. No. We went best to worst. <laughs> it literally just happened that way. Uh, accidentally. So yeah. go watch that video. Please do. Uh, it was a fun video. We're going to be doing more of that stuff come January, which yeah. I'm really excited about. We have a whole list of stupid things we're going to do to ourselves. Um, For your enjoyment. I had a friend of mine yep. text me yesterday. Okay. And he sent me a video. Or no, sorry. The day before, he sent me a video of his daughter watching that video. Okay. So she's watched all. She's watched the Chip Challenge. She's watched Jelly Bean. And she's watched Soda Stream. Okay. And what she said to him was, "I wish there was more." Oh. Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, well, there, I'm like, there's more We're on the way." Please the masses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's and I, I told her I was like, you know what? I was like, you should get your friends to watch the video, and you can brag to all of them ah, that you yeah. know me. Yeah. And she was, and she, he said that she just kind of laughed at that. That's funny. But uh, that's awesome. I'm glad she enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, that's really what we do it for. It's so then for he sent me like an audio clip of her asking me if Aww. when I was gagging, if I actually puked or not. Oh, and I said, I didn't actually puke. Did you edit it? But out? I came very close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Came very close. So I, I have a feeling that if we keep ramping things up with those videos, I have a feeling there will come a point where. Oh, there might be some throw up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll probably be not gonna be the green tea one was the closest for me. Like I literally had to like almost hold it down because it was like the earthiness of the matcha, and then it was just like, man, it almost made me throw up. So that was a struggle. Oh, I don't blame you. Well, you don't like green tea. I mean, I'm not a big fan, but but green tea latte is delicious because it's it's nice and sweet. It's not bad. I I don't know. I like. I I I'll never forget the first time I tried green tea. Okay. We were uh, doing like a Japanese module and it was like grade six, I okay. think. And we were in the library and they had all these Japanese, like they had seaweed, they had green tea, like all these different Japanese oh. things to try. Cool. First time I ever tried green tea, I thought it was the most disgusting thing I've ever tr- had How in my life. How did you try it though? And in, in the school, did they have it in like a, like a powder? And you tried it in the powder form? No, or I you think tried they, it like in, a, in like a drink. No, I think yeah, they yeah they made tea for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like you know when green you, tea? Okay, got yeah, you. Yeah, green tea. No, no, that's fine. Sorry, I'm what did you think I said? Well, because matcha is a powder. No, no, no. It wasn't so matcha what, green tea. It was I'm just thinking, green tea, like green tea. Leaves. I'm thinking matcha. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like when you go to the when you go to the restaurant, you ask for green tea. It's like what yeah. they make you there. Okay. With the green tea leaves. I, I love both now, but like yeah, I yeah. remember the first time I tried it, I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever <laughs> put in my mouth. And then they were like, here, have some seaweed, kid. And I was like, okay. And then seaweed was like the worst thing I'd ever oh, put in. Oh, yeah. I remember the – I'll never forget the first time I really had sushi because Krista was the one that turned me on to sushi. Okay. First time I ever had sushi, I was not a fan. Okay, yeah. At all. Right. Not a fan. I can see that. I love sushi so much now. You do, yeah. So much. Yeah. Sushi is so good. So you kind of grew into liking it? Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. Or? It was very It was very quick. And now she can't have it because she's allergic to sesame. Oh. Which she. What do you mean now she's allergic? Because she developed an allergy to sesame for her based on how like much sushi she was eating. Oh, shit. You didn't know you can you can develop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allergies can come and go at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I'm sure you can develop them from overeating I'm something. sure at this point in her life, she's probably not allergic Why to it anymore. Why am I not allergic to sugar? <laughs> 
<laughs> you probably I are. I you probably are. Just don't. I'm it's the same right thing now. with me. I'm allergic to milk, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> That's yeah, true. So it's Christmas time. Christmas. Did you dress your house up at all? Hell no. Okay. I, was, I don't know. <laughs> you and I it represent the opposites of Christmas. So you love it. Yeah. Okay. You love you it. You don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm not out there like bah humbugging <laughs> or grinching around. As you can tell, I'm like all I know, but I like that. It's fine. It's fine. I... Yeah, I'm not a big fan. That's I think fair. as I got older, I loved it when I was a kid, obviously, like getting presents and family and food and like all that fun jazz. But I think as I got older, it started to kind of like represent things. And I don't want to get like off, but like just the memories were kind of tarnished for me. My grandma's not here anymore. She was a large part of like our Christmas and my Christmas. That's fair. The feeling of Christmas and everything, the traditions that we did were kind of like around my grandma. And, and your I, Halloween too, from what you were 100%. saying. And, yeah, a lot of things actually revolved around my grandma. So, but my mom and like I just, I had stepdads growing up. So all those memories that I have of Christmas that are good are actually kind of based on not great times. Mm. If that makes sense. Yep. So, it doesn't really it's not as special to me of a year. I'm not married. I don't have kids. Uh so there's not really much point in me celebrating it alone anyways. So but I'm sure like if I had kids and stuff it would be completely different. So Yeah, and part of me every year like kind of wants that's that's yeah. part of me I'm, like going, 100%, going back. Was it last week we were yep. talking there was that daddy's home? Yep, daddy's home. Daddy's home. Yeah, like where it's just like living Christmas memories and making new Christmas memories and new Christmas traditions and stuff through having your own kids. Like sometimes I do kind of wish. Oh my God. I think that's really the magic of Christmas is that you are basically like you're building this world for a child to kind of have this wonderment and you're kind of like the narrator of yeah. their experience, you know? So that's cool for sure because then you're really lying to them at the end of the day. So. <laughs> Santa's real. <laughs> Believe in magic. Magic's fake. Just kidding. Magic's real. Magic's real. <laughs> Magic's yeah, real. I. Uh, the house is decorated on the inside. Oh, like we yeah. have a tree. We've got all our stockings hung by the fire. I know. I love you for the dogs too. That's so yeah. cute. Yeah, Krista. Krista found some that that just have like letters on yeah, them yeah, for yeah. each of our names. I love that. That's so um, cute. Uh, I haven't decorated the outside of the house oh. at all. And it's not for any other reason than I'm just like, I'm just lazy and I haven't done it. Sure. And it sucks because I drive around and I look at other people's neighborhoods and I see all their lights and all totally. their decorations and stuff like that. And it bums me out that like, basically there's probably like, I think there's three houses on our street uh, that maybe have lights done up. You, it's two years now that you've been in your house, just over two years, like a month. So we moved. Did you decorate no. your house earlier? Outside? No. So the last Christmas we moved in eight days before Christmas. Yeah. So there was no decorating right. at all. We yeah, didn't have totally. a driveway. We didn't have. Right. right. We didn't have. Oh, like, yeah. Right. We didn't have a tree. Like we had nothing to. Right. You're like it, just on a bare lot. Almost. Yeah. It's, it sucked. Yeah. So it was like, and we were like exhausted from moving. So like we barely God. decorated the inside. I don't even think we put up a tree. Right. I might, I, I may have pushed Krista into like, come on, we got to set up a tree. Like we got to, cause we were so stressed out and like so bummed out from, uh, like moving everything. Yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that part wasn't fun, but, uh, no, I, that was the Christmas book. I'm so like because you've been in your house for two Christmases though. So this would be the third Christmas. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Oh, so last Christmas. Oh, last Christmas was. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I I'm. Like, it's all good. But I mean, the last three years. Oh my two god. Two plus years have all run together. So it's kind of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Last year was lockdown Christmas, where yeah. it was like we had we bought the big house with the intention of like okay, we're gonna have all my family come and stay with us at the holidays. Everybody's going to yeah, come. Yeah, you have more than enough room in that house. It's totally. beautiful. Yeah. But that's what I mean. It was yeah. like, I'm going to have everybody come and stay with us. And like that was the point of buying the house. And we buy the house, COVID happens. So then it's like, okay. So we're just left at, like, we feel like <laughs> two vampires in this, like. I will like see one, you in the West Wing. Yeah, like in one <laughs> corner, in like one tower of this, like, castle. Yeah. With, like, nobody else in it, and then every once in a while, somebody breaches the front gates, and they're like, hello? Can hello? you put the drawbridge down? Yeah, it's like it's like beauty coming into, the, or, like, breaking into the beast's castle, and it's, like, all cold, and 
the pots and pans are dancing when they get in. <laughs> She's like, be, be, be our, our guest, guest. Be, be our, our guest. guest. Our guest. <laughs> to the so yeah. we buy this big house and then we've like barely had anybody. We had um, uh, we had a little Christmas thing when we first moved in uh, before COVID. We had my birthday, which was like a month before COVID. Right. Shut everything down. And then since that... We've had like one or two people over sporadically over the last two years. Right. So last Christmas, the intention was like, okay, you know, things have kind of slowed down. Like, let's get everybody over here. And then the government was like, yeah, nobody can have anybody in their house. Oh, Remember that? Yeah. And then shortly after Christmas, it came out that all those like government officials and all those MLAs and all those people like went on vacations. Yeah. Like to Mexico and like kind of like left the country. Yeah. And all of us... He, like countrywide we're like are you fucking kidding me yeah bullshit. you told us not to go like not to go to each other's houses you told us not to do anything and yet you the best was the guy from fort mcmurray that um asian mla guy who i didn't hear he went to mexico he didn't have his phone on for like five days oh my God. so all of this is happening everybody's losing their fucking minds and he's getting like hit thrown under the bus a lot turns his phone on after like five or six oh days and his phone is just blowing up and he's going <laughs> oh i fucked up so then he takes an extra three days to formulate a response to this oh and he comes God. back and his response was you know what uh, I had been working on this bill or working on this thing, blah, blah, blah. And I just really needed a break. Crickets. Dude. Oh, 100%. crickets. Yes. Everybody in the province was like, are you kidding me? Like, really? We all need a break. You asshole. Totally. So that was dumb. But anyway, so we, we, I think we did a tree. I didn't do, I don't, I didn't do lights outside, but we did a tree. We decorated on the inside and then, Nobody ended up being able to right, come over anyway. Right, right. So then cut to this year, it's just kind of the same thing. Like it's just weird we asked limbo. my family, like we were like, Hey, like are you guys gonna come and spend some time? And all of them were just like, Yeah, we have plans here and like because they all live in Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie and we were yeah. like, Okay. All right. So Krista's like, Yeah, she's like, It's never gonna happen. Like, we're never gonna have them oh, all over for Christmas. Like, it's never <laughs> gonna happen. And I was like, All right, whatever. So I'm a little bummed out that they all kind of ditched us yeah, for Christmas. Totally, like dude. they just made their own plans. Yeah. Um, it's not a very family like thing to do. I mean, well, it's but that's the thing is like I I don't at the but where and it's funny because they're all going to watch this. They're going to be like, "Yo, Jesus!" <laughs> and they're all going to be like, "I didn't know he felt like Merry that." Christmas. But the thing is, is that when the, everybody got up and moved away, and I like I stayed in the Calgary area because obviously all my friends are here, my yeah. dad's here, everybody, all my my siblings and my mom all moved away. They all moved back to Grand Prairie. And they hate it. As far as I know, I they know, all I hate d- living there. Understand. And I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get you why you live there. You are wasting parts of your life. <laughs> you live in the like, like, like come you on. live in the boondocks. Yeah. So anyway, they all get up and they move away. And then um, periodically, like for a while, periodically I would go and visit them. Them coming to like Jen, my sister comes and visits sure. me every once in a yep. while. China at a certain point moved to Ottawa, so I don't blame her for not visiting. But, like, right now, nobody comes – I mean, it's COVID. I get it. Nobody comes down. But, like, the amount – I can count on one hand the amount of times my mom has been to my new house. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yep. Which is, like, twice. Right. And it's, it's, it is what it is. So it's like, yeah. okay, like, now we're just trying to build – like, Chris and I were kind of talking. We're like, all right, we're going to build other – we're just gonna build other Christmas traditions yeah. and like have friends over yeah. and like do friends other. Miss. Yeah, like I'm, lots of people do that. If and that's exactly what my family's done in Grand Prairie. They have all their Christmas. They have all their Christmas traditions that they've built up over the years and they're doing and whatever. So it's like, I guess it was unfair of me to like try to. I don't know. I guess it was unfair of me to like assume that maybe they would want to try to rekindle the family Christmases that we used to have. Right. You know what I mean? But that's kind of the idea of Christmas. That was the idea. That but was like, the that's idea. That's my idea of Christmas. It's like, oh, you live in Australia and you live in Nantucket and we haven't seen each other in night. Like, then come to get, everyone comes together. That's all the movies. That's yeah. all the TV shows. It's like dad's home from the war. Like, I, I didn't, uh, yeah. It's I, that kind of reunion, yeah. even though I you didn't don't, mean to turn this into no, like no, a no, bummer. No, no, it's fine. It's all, I'm going to start crying soon, but 
but no, I get, I totally get what you're saying. And it is, it's, it's sad when those things don't happen for whatever reason, but I think you're not wrong. Uh, you and Kristen aren't wrong for making up new traditions and there's nothing wrong with that. New traditions can be great. You know, having friends and family or sorry, having friends over that you maybe normally wouldn't, not that you wouldn't invite them, but because family's not here and blah, blah, blah. So just making new traditions would and be I a good thing. And, and, and I've had to, because another thing, every, every Christmas day for the last, well, up until COVID. So I moved to Crossfield in 04. <coughs> so we're talking until 2019. So 15 years. Every single Christmas day, I would pop over to t m my friend Tucker's house. Right. And go see his family every Christmas awesome. day. Because he lived three houses down from me when awesome. I lived in Crossfield. And then when I lived in Calgary, it was still only like 20 minutes away. So right. But every Christmas day, I would Tell drive over there. That's sweet. Pop in, say hello, drink some eggnog, have some, because they always had treats or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They sold their house in Crossfield um, in the, this last summer. And the year before Christmas 2020, we obviously couldn't. Right. Because his parents were in Osoyoos anyway. Right. I think last Christmas. And now they, they've they like all moved away and stuff. So I can't do that tradition anymore. So it was like, it kind of, I, it's those little things. And I honestly, I'm not trying to turn this into like bummer Christmas day. But it's like those little things that like you did or do or whatever. It's like don't take them for granted because you don't know if like the next totally. year that tradition or that group or whatever, like they're not going to be there. You don't know that. Right. So yep. it's so I, I that's the Christmas lesson of the podcast. Don't take things for granted. Yeah. So we so Tucker and his wife are flying out. They're flying out to go to his parents' house on Boxing Day. Okay. So I've set it up where I think they're going to, because they live in Edmonton right now. I think I've set it up where they're going to come. She's dealing with an ear infection right now, so she's not feeling well. So obviously if she can't make it before Christmas, like whatever, we'll do it after. But um, it, I'm trying to set up like the new tradition where it's like they come to our house before awesome. Christmas and then they can go out to BC and spend awesome. it with his family or whatever. Sweet. And yeah, so that's we'll, awesome. Yeah. That's so sweet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that that I don't know, that kind of took a downer turn, but I didn't I didn't No, we're to. just talking Christmas. That's totally all. to turn it around maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about do you do you have any fond memories of any like good presents that you received? Oh yeah. Over the years that oh, were yeah. really like you were like, damn, like like not just like they were just good presents that you, so you've gotten over the I'm years. I'm not good with anticipation. Okay. I'm not good with it. I don't like not knowing something, first of all, and I don't like um, – in, anticipation is hard for me. So I remember one year it was when the PlayStation 2 had come out. Right. And I really wanted a PlayStation 2. But I also really wanted to know if I had gotten a PlayStation 2. So, are you a snooper? Oh my god, oh. I'm horrible for snooping. I am horrible. The secrets I, are I'm, out. Now I'm not as bad at now. Like I, I as an adult, I'm like, no, dude, you just gotta like chill yeah, out yeah. and whatever. But when I was a kid, oh yeah, I was notorious for I can't imagine Krista trying to hide presents from you back in the day. Oh, I think she just left them at her mom's house. <laughs> oh, that's like, actually smart. I don't think they were in our house. That's at pretty all. smart, actually. Just so that you wouldn't even come across them if you tried. I also like no, like, and that's the thing, like with Krista and I I I I don't know if I've ever snooped for Chris, Christmas gifts from Chris. I must have. I must have. I think you would have. For sure. I, I mean, probably would have. We've been together long yeah. enough that I mean, like, I'm sure at a certain point I had. Sure. But uh, we're not. Oh, so we weren't doing Christmas gifts this year. I this remember. Is a little bit off topic. I remember. We yeah, weren't yeah. doing Christmas gifts this year. I got her an awesome Christmas gift. Okay. I'll tell you after the, okay, after yeah, the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it cost me way too much money. And I'll tell you after the pod, <laughs> okay. you'll, you're going to laugh. Though. All right. Um, so <laughs> anyway, it was the year the PS2 was coming out and I really, really wanted one. So anyway, I wound up finding, what did I find? I found a controller and a game somewhere. Like my parent, my dad had hidden it or something. I got you. Yeah, so yeah. I found the controller and the like, game. Oh. Right. So I was like, oh shit, they got me a PS2. My parents found out that I found out, and they were super pissed oh, no. because they wanted to surprise me. So then instead of them giving it to me, they gave it to me and my sister just to piss me off. 
so that she had half ownership of the PS2. Oh yeah, it was wow. it was rough. It was a Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. When you're a kid and you're like, wow. oh yeah, you have to share that gaming console, that brand new gaming console you wanted with your sister. How did yeah. they find out that you knew? I can't remember. You must have told somebody, and then they must have told on you. You must have told somebody that you were like, I'm I can't. Getting rem- a PS2. I can't remember. How I found out. I probably did something stupid to like alert them to the fact yeah, that Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, didn't leave it the way it was oh, or God. something. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah, like yeah. they found out that I yeah, that yeah, I yeah. knew and they were pissed. What a bunch of jerks. As a kid, as a kid, yeah. Now that I'm telling the story, as a kid, I one hundred percent could not understand. The joy they would have gotten out of right. me opening that and not knowing until you opened it, right. being like, "Oh my god!" Right. Like you'd be on America's exci- Funniest Home Videos. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I, I cannot understand the their their part in that where they're like, "We want to see the excitement of him opening that on Christmas Day." Blah blah blah. Yeah. And me ruining that for them, right? Because I'm a I'm a snooping asshole, right? Um. Now, as an adult, I completely understand why they were like, "All right, motherfucker, you wanna, yeah. you wanna snoop? Well, you got to share that gift with your sister." And like, that may have been their intention the whole time, but I don't think it was. I think their intention the whole time was just to give it to me, and then they were like, "Fine, fuck it, it's for both of you." We're mad. At that you. was the surprise. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that was that. I remember getting. <coughs> I remember. Um, thing is, when there's four kids. Oh man! Big so like the N sixty four I think was was given to all like a kid's f- gift. Yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. given to all four Makes of sense. us because like, it was a big gift for right? sure at the time. Sure. Um, but I remember like opening the N sixty four and being like, "Oh my god! Like this is so awesome!" I remember one year I got like Jurassic World toys that Sick. I was super stoked on Bad. that I think I even still. Oh man! Had. If you still had those in box, oh, oh in my box, god. yeah, so good, I, yeah. That's, That's the thing. So I didn't start rad. collecting like I didn't start leaving stuff in box until I, it was Dude. way too late. I grew up during the height of all the the main, not the height, but like during a good toy, which is like the early '80s into the '90s. Oh yeah, that whole like toy range was a mate. Like I had almost every single He Man. I had I had. But Probably. you can buy all of them right now. Yeah, yeah. But I had like all the original yeah, ones, yeah. like the Moss Man, smelled like patchouli. Uh, I had so many mini micro machines. Like those were huge at the time. I had tons of Transformers. Right. Ton- I had almost all the dinosaurs. I had all the bugs. I had Optimus Prime. Like I had so. If I would, I I, th- I sold those at a garage sale when I was like yep. twenty, not even thinking about like yep. holding on to them, even if they weren't mint in box. Like, oh yeah, there's still like a little bit of value oh, in there. Man. Not even a little bit of I value. There's still value in if those. If I would have held on to I know. those, but I still have all my Ghostbusters. Well, it's the second round, but I have all the original figures from the eighties, right? And I have all the reissue ones that they did last year. That are all carded. Right. Like, they're all... I'm not opening them. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Yeah, because, like... That's sweet, dude. Um, Yeah, like, I I remember... Well, this isn't Christmas, but I remember one birthday. Yeah. My mom... I think she found... They were blowing out a whole bunch of, like, Ghostbusters. And I mean, we're talking, like, oh this is, like, God. early 90s. Right. We're talking, like, this is probably 92, 93, maybe 94. Yeah. So, it's, like, those Ghostbuster toys... Are like on store shelves still. Yeah. She must have, or like they might be just like at the point where, like, eh, I guess nobody. I feel like Ghostbusters took a dip. That's what I mean. And they were probably it, like, yo, let's just get rid of I this shit. I think it was at the and time. She was like, uh. I think it was at a time <laughs> where they had taken a dip and they didn't care anymore. Right. She literally bought every toy on the shelf wow. because they were probably fucking $5. Oh, each. yeah, for sure. And she was probably so, she was like, this is going to be his best, best birthday ever. <laughs> yeah. And so I literally, I had, there was like a VW bug. That turned into a praying mantis. There was the airplane. There was like all these different toys, um, all these different like vehicles. There was one that was like a bug clap, like it had two fly swatters and you'd like (laughs) squeeze it and it was like a go kart. Like there was so many cool Ghostbusters. That's rad. I wish I had all of those and I found them. There's a a comic book store in Airdrie and I went there a couple days. I went there last week Um, and in a display case at the front. They have all those toys brand new in box. Wow. Stupid expensive. That's crazy. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I want all yeah, like of them. I, I want all of those them. to oh, put totally. on my shelf. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's definitely, like, 
yeah, so the PlayStation Two is one that sticks out. Yeah, N sixty four is one that sticks out. Yeah. Um, those Jurassic World toys, and I these are all Christmases like in after we had moved to Calgary, uh, like ninety seven forward. I don't really remember. I'm trying to remember Christmas in Grand Prairie, and I don't. I don't really remember. That's fair. What I would have gotten for Christmas then? Yeah, yeah. I was because I was nine years old, and it's like most of my memories at this point, yeah, are like nine years old forward. Right. I do remember little bits of like living in Grand Prairie, but not a whole ton. Right. Um, I don't know. Like I remember one year I really wanted a. I remember one year they sent me on like a scavenger hunt for a CD. Cool. That I really it was now too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Had the orange <laughs> cover. Yeah. What? Yeah. So it was like. So funny. It was a scavenger hunt. And I went all the way around the house to like find the CD. And that was a fun one. <laughs> With Theory of a Dead Man on it and stuff. No. Th- <laughs> oh, that back? was pre-Theory of a Dead oh, Man. Oh, yeah. That's fair. We're talking like. Ni- that was like 90. 90- oh, so it's like er- like 90s music. So it would have been like. Oh, now too was like probably call 98, 99. Oh. Call of Mr. Wrong. No, it was like. No, it was, it was like. like dan- now it was like dance music, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like Britney Spears and shit. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Hold on, I remember now, those covers and stuff. Like I remember those. now to CD. Yeah, now to CD. Well, it, in the states they call it now. That's what I call music. Yeah, ninety nine. Awesome. Yeah, okay, baby, one more time. You um, <laughs> don't you let go. You only get what you get. Oh my god, yeah, that's a great song. <laughs> Millennium by Robbie Williams. Closing time by Semisonic, sweetest thing by U two, my favorite mistake, praise you by Flat, Fat Boy Slim. Praise I think I'm paranoid by gosh, Garbage. Should. Never that was one of my that was one of my prize CDs. This CD, it's a good mix. Goodbye by the Spice Girls because of you by Ninety Eight Degrees. Never there by Cake, mm-hmm. which I never really liked Cake when I was younger. Yeah, if yeah. I had been like if I had been around your age at that time, yeah. I would have enjoyed Cake more. Yeah. But because Cake. That was not something on my radar. Yeah, I was listening to grunge when this was all happening. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah See, yeah. and I didn't get into Getting grunge. Into punk and grunge and all that kind of. Yeah, I didn't dirty get into stuff. grunge until I had morphed from now CDs into yeah. like Soundgarden and Nirvana and like that makes Alice in Chains. Once and, once I got into my late late, but it's just because I'm ten years older than you, well, exa- so I was like a full generation. It was like probably the same trajectory. It was just totally. I was ten years behind. You. Yeah, that's why we're best so, friends. Um, <laughs> this is a little, this is kind of in the same vein of childhood, Okay. a little off topic. And then we'll get to, uh, we have presents to Prezies. give presents. on the weekend. Oh. I found there's a new show on Netflix okay. that I found Okay. that I think I want you to watch it. I know lots about Netflix, so I might already know about it. Yeah. And I might've already watched it go. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Netflix is like, a, it's a main I got Disney Plus, Netflix, Apple TV, Prime, and Crave. Right. So I got a cover, baby. Well, it only came out within the last three weeks. Okay. Four days. Two. Could I don't have know. crushed it's it. It's very. Yeah. I've only watched an episode and a half because I watched. What I was, is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're killing me. So what is the show? <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to leave you hanging what on is a little. It? So it's called Saturday Morning All Star Hits. Oh, no. Yeah, you don't know any. Saturday morning all-star hits. I knew you wouldn't know what this was at all. It hasn't even come across my thing. I got lucky that I found it. I was just, you know how like they have the Netflix originals posters? I was just scrolling through that, which I never do. I've done that, but yeah. I never do that because most of the time I'm like, Netflix stuff is bullshit, but it's not. Like some of it's actually really Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I see this poster. The poster looks not... Like necessarily, I see this poster, and I'm like, okay, that doesn't necessarily look like something I want to watch because it looks very childlike. It looks very childlike, which yeah. is the point. Fair. It's not for kids. It's for adults. Okay. That grew up in the 80s and 90s. Okay. So it's a play on when you were a kid. Was Saturday morning cartoons were like the only it was real a huge thing. It was, of course, it was a huge yeah, thing yeah. in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Kids started getting more of their own programming. Yeah. So this is something I was thinking about. In, uh, You're this absolutely morning. right. Like YTV and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So all of a sudden, I remember yeah. when Teletoon started. Yeah. Like I remember, I because we moved to Calgary 
and we got Shaw Cable. And one of the first things that happened when we moved into our brand new house and got brand new cable was Teletoon started. My right. dad was like, this is a channel for kids. And we were like, what is that? <laughs> right. Yeah, there was a point in time where there was like no programming for no children. Pro- YTV was the only channel for kids yeah. at a certain point. And then even before that, it was only Saturday mornings. That was it. And that's that's the point I was trying to make. Yeah. Is like it used to when you were growing up, it was yeah. only Saturday mornings. Yeah. Everything else was geared towards adults. Yep. So this show is it's Kyle Mooney from SNL. Okay. And in they've made all these fake cartoons. I love it. I'm so down. That are they're pretty like one's called Randy, and it's about a dinosaur that like comes into the future and he's like just this cool skateboarding like dinosaur but then it gets into the actual episode and everything in the episode is like he's dealing with a breakup and it's super <laughs> heavy and it's like awesome okay i'm like yeah. okay and then they have like the um interstitials with kyle mooney playing two characters called uh skip and Trebor. And they're like the they're like the the kids TV guys that are like, what's going on, oh, kids? We're the Y the Y T V guys. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. so good. That's you good. would never know that it's him. it's just like it's it's two of him. It's crazy right, right, right. how well it's done. That's awesome. But it's like um I can't wait to binge the rest. It was like honestly like close to two in the morning when I was like when I found this <laughs> and I would like tried to crush like as much as I could and then I was like, Okay, I gotta go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It just it's it's so it's good. It's like it's probably uh, it is so it'll it will make you feel nostalgic. Nostalgic, I was gonna say because literally in the ta- in the tagline it was like for people who grew up in the eighties and nineties with this type of programming. Perfect. Like the the intro looks like it's like a VHS tape. It, dude, it's so good. That's awesome. It's so perfect. That's sweet. I'm gonna definitely definitely check it out. And they've got like. Um, fake commercials for like toys. See, that was the other thing I was going to say when we were talking about it was that that was on Saturday mornings when I was watching cartoons. That was the only time I was inundated with all of the 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 commercials. Yeah. So I would get like the Hot Wheels commercials and like any hot new toy, boy or girl, would be kind of like listed in between the shows. And like, not only are you there watching cartoons like a maniac, but you're there watching all the cool new toy commercials and like it was completely like. From basically like eight until noon, you're on the TV. Like oh, you're yeah. just stuck to the TV. Oh so. yeah, we had that too, but to a lesser extent because by the time we were growing up, we had YTV already, we had Family Channel already, yeah. and then Teletoon came shortly thereafter. Yeah. But I remember in the early '90s, some programs like I remember Fox News or Fo- the Fox program. You used to have Saturday morning cartoons yeah, where they, they would play. They would play like the the '90s uh, X Men. They would play like the '90s Batman. They would yep. play like all of those kind of like '90s Ghostbusters cartoon. Yep. They would play like Scooby Doo, like the newer version of Scooby Doo, not the '70s, but the '90s version. Like they would play all of that programming, and it was kind of like they were trying to keep that that nostalgic Saturday morning cartoon idea alive, even though there was still child programming out there. Yeah, so. That Fox Kids one that you're talking about started in 1990, and it ended in 2002. Oh, wow. Yeah. So okay, it so for, it was around for a bit. But when it I end, watched that religiously. But when it ended in 2002, yeah. it didn't really end. It was just that Transmorph. 4 Kids Entertainment ended up winning. and They probably took that programming they, and turned well, it into Well, they won that own. time slot, oh. and then they put other kids' program. But like the, the one that you're – because I remember – Post 2002, the Fox lineup was like Digimon and like fucking all those. See, that's when I tap out. Weird shows. Digimon, um, Pokemon, uh, Dragon Ball Z. All of that is not. I was doing drugs and getting drunk at the bar. Like yeah, oh, everyone yeah. I know, like yeah. any of the younger generation, like all the Pokemon people out there, which are millions. Which is funny because I was thinking about. I was actually thinking about that where I was gonna. There was a show I was gonna ask you about. I was like, did you? And I really, and it's like now the show is just like gone oh, yeah, and escaped yeah, course, my brain. But I was going to ask you if it was a show that you would ever watch. And then I was like, no, of course he didn't. Because it no. was my, it would have been, honestly, it would have been 10 years beneath you by the time you would have, yeah. it would have been on the air. There's a full generation of, of things that I've missed. Watching. For sure. Well, that's like Pokemon. All of that stuff was. It's nothing to me. Yeah. See, and Pokemon started. 
in 97. So Pokemon, even for me, like Pokemon still has a place in my heart. Yeah. But even then, I was nine years old. So right. it was like by the time Pokemon was like huge, I was probably like, You're like 10, uh, 11. Like, and maybe not really because there were so many other things for you to watch too that yeah. you were like, ah, uh, this is not really my favorite. I definitely thing. watched it. I definitely sure. had Pokemon. Well, we all had Pokemon cards because that was like, yeah, you yeah. weren't cool unless you had Pokemon. Same with Pogs. Same with yeah. anything. It's like fidget, the, the fidget spinners of our day. Like, yeah. You weren't cool unless you had yep. those things, yeah. right? So, um, of course, yeah. So, Pokemon was a thing that, like, I – well, I guess I did – I had the the original game, like, the red and blue. I had blue. Yeah, and you had it on your so phone. I, I remember us play, where you were playing it, where you were hunting them down on the – the on your phone, the phone game. Oh, Pokemon Go! Like I remember, yeah, you had but that everybody had Pokemon. Oh Go. no, I I didn't. No, I but know yeah, you yeah. didn't. No, 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 but Pokemon Go, like that, just hit a nostalgia. Oh, for sure. I saw two, like, elderly people at the mall. That's awesome. On the weekend, playing. That's they were like awesome. tapping their phones so I hard, and I was like, "What is? What are they doing?" <laughs> they were playing Pokemon Go. I and love I swear that. to God, they were in like their seventies. When I come across people on TikTok that are honestly there, I came across this guy. His name was Old Man Dan, something like that, and okay. he was literally ninety-five years old, and he all of his dude and those guys. He has three million likes. Okay. Probably half a million followers. And his latest video is him holding his phone at a terrible angle, going into his fridge, opening his fridge, telling people what he's going to eat for lunch, and then he makes a sandwich and that's it. Thanks for watching my TikTok. Half a million subscribers. Because he's I 95. See old people on TikTok like that, I'm like, that's amazing. I love, I, I mean, he's 95. And he has a larger following than you and I will ever have. Well, well, hopefully. Well, you, but you know I what, know I, what mean? You mean. Like, I know what you mean. I'm just like, this guy's making sandwiches and just being like, I'm old man Dan. And, and that's why got, people follow because they're like, look at him people go. people spend money on making TikToks and they have 30 followers. Like, yeah. it's just amazing. But I love when you see old people embracing technology. Oh, yeah. Like that. And like being all about it. Oh, you yeah. Know? Like, I think that's rad. I think my grandmother spends all day every day on her iPad. That's so rad. And she's in her 70s. Yeah, she, I love that. She loves her iPad. Like, she was born when there was not even a TV. Yeah, I know. And now she's on her iPad. Yeah. Like, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. In a lifetime to come that far. I saw a video yesterday. It was adorable. It was this old man who had come over. I don't know if it was his grandson or if it was somebody in his family or whatever. And he came over to their house, and they had a 3D printer set up. Oh, sweet. And the kid is just like, yeah, so this is a 3D printer. And he was like, no, it's not. And he was like, yeah. And he like hands him like a little 3D printed thing. And he was like, yeah, it printed this. And he was like, no, it did. He was like, what? He was just so, so mind blown. Blown away. He was like. And I he, still think the technology is a little mind blowing. And I'm this young. Well, fair enough. I'm 42, but I'm still like, what? Fair enough. Like, this old guy wanted the kid I to like imagine. sign the little thing that he, oh, he was really? like, can you sign it? And he was like, yeah, of course I'll sign it. That's like, kind of cool. He's like, it's just, he was like, yeah. And then he was like showing him on the computer. He's like, yeah, it's printing this. And like, that's cool. the old guy was just like, he couldn't. Oh yeah. I remember. And like, oh man, this is, I guess this is like the old man podcast today, but the sad Christmas <laughs> old man podcast. Sad Chris, <laughs> it's sad gonna be a sad Christmas. Song. Christmas. Um, I, gave you I my remember pump. at a certain point in my life where I was holding my iPod and holding my phone oh, and yeah. holding my you camera, told me that. and I was like, like, you're like Can't "Man, I baby? really wish all three of these oh, were just man. in one." Dude. And then I think it. This was. I mean, we're talking like this is like 2005, 2006. So it was like the iPhone was just right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, because I was like, oh, I just really like the i. I was like, I really like the iPod interface. Yeah. And I just really wish it was a phone, too. And then literally the phone was born. That's funny. They heard you. I guess. They heard you. And then now it's like we we have one device that can do everything. Yes. And then some. And then some. Yeah. I still don't like taking photos with my phone. I hate the way the photos look in my phone. I hate I hate yeah. iPhone photos. I think for people that are like tech guys like you are and you have multiple cameras, I you think do they this, look terrible. I think you can see the I, comparison. I, 
I've I'm started. Like, this picture looks so much better than on my tan. It's it's the reason I've started <laughs> taking more photos with my real camera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've started carrying my real camera with me around a lot more because yeah. I wanted to start taking a lot more photos of just like because I want the memories. Because yeah. I know at a certain point I'm going to be 50 and I'm going to be like. I wish I had taken more photos. Yeah, or I took I better know, photos. Because I know I'm 33, yeah. and I'm like, I wish I had taken more photos in high school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Like, I wish oh I had more God. photos of yeah. high school. And, like, yeah. I'm going to have to reach out to some of the people I went to high school with and see, it, like, who has Do you know, photos. We, everybody and, like, has, had that friend oh, yeah. that had their camera 24-7 or had a video camera. Everybody has that friend. And totally. you're like, really, Becky? You're going to take a picture of this? <laughs> and then 20 years later, you're like, like dear Becky so on Facebook, do you have those pictures from our pep rally in I'm 1991? I'm so glad. You, yes, I, <laughs> She's like, yep, I attended are. every pep rally <laughs> in a cheerleading you outfit. Know what I mean. Anyway, watch Saturday Morning All-Star I'm Hits. I'm on it. You'll, you'll love it. Thank you. I saw Spider-Man last night. Oh. Just quickly. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but... <laughs> What did you like? Shit's ruined. Did you like it? Yes. Actually, I'm going to say this, that it was the best of the three movies, in my opinion. And I was worried. I told you in the last podcast that I was worried that when they throw everything into the third movie, it can get See, messy. See, I was like, No, wait. but it can get messy. I it know. Can. Oh, yeah. Don't fight me on it. Oh, okay. But I was worried. I'm like, oh, man, there's all this and all this, and then there's all that, and there... Honestly, the movie is very... It's from the second the movie starts. Yeah. It's pretty action-packed yeah. throughout the entire movie. I was in tears for like more than half that mm, movie. I never cried. No, that's fair. I But for me, I was like... That's fair. Really? Because like I watched... Um, or I started watching Spider-Man 1 last night. Like going back like to... Like going back to the Tobes yeah, Maguire's? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the Tobes Maguire's. And it's like... It's funny... There's a few things in that movie where just with his acting where I'm like, ooh, like he's real like some of the He's so, stiff. So some he's very stiff. I find him to be stiff. Very stiff, especially in the first movie. Uh huh. I think he loosens up a little bit more in the second one, and then the third one is just a train wreck. And then we didn't get any more. But there's like some stuff in the script. Like there's one there's one where he's talking to um MJ in the back in the backyard. And she's talking about, like, I want to be a Broadway star or whatever. And he's like, yeah, of course you do. He's like, I cried like a baby when you played Snow White. And it's just like, it's such a weird line. And she's like, Peter, that was the first grade. And he's like, yeah. But, you know, like, sometimes you <laughs> just don't. And it's like, dude, puss. Jesus. Like, like, grow some balls, bro. It's not even that. It's just like, they should have rewritten that line in the script. It could have just been like, why did he have oh, to 100%. say he cried like a baby? He could have been like. He could have just been like, I loved when you played Snow White. And then she could have been like, dude, that was the first grade. And it's still the line still would have worked and it wouldn't have come off as crazy. Anyway, fuck, we gotta get to uh But it was great. Love the movie. Go see it. It's already at two hundred and thirty seven million opening weekend. It's it already beat it's crushing. Infinity War, it did not beat it end game. No, that's fine, but it's crushing oh, right it's now. So good. It's crushing. So good. It's good, yeah. Okay. Kay. Is it are we gonna do presents? Let's do presents. Okay, let's do presents and then get out of here Kay. and go on vacation. I like that we kind of did the same thing with the tissue paper. Yes, we did that. I definitely wrapped these, not my wife. Awesome. Do you love it? Yes, what is, I love we it. We have to tell. It's the, a tennis McNugget. It's a tennis McNugget Funko Pop. I didn't even know that they did those. You didn't? And, well, no, I didn't know. Oh. Well, I've, I've seen some of the McDonald's stuff. That's awesome, dude. So I this love is, it. I think this is a series two. Oh, no, Cowboy McNuggets on there. So I have Cowboy McNugget. That's awesome. You have Tennis McNugget. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh what is it? Oh, gingerbread Oreo. Have you had them? No. Okay, perfect. I love gingerbread, too. And if the middle I know is cream you cheese, could you imagine? I don't know. That would be good. We're going to try them. Okay. Try them okay. After this. That'll be our Christmas thing. Another Funko. Another Funko. Do you like Funko? I don't know. Do you like Funko? Yeah, I collect uh, them. Do you really? Do you have that one? No. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, because you everywhere collect, we go. Um, I collect Deadpool stuff. So everywhere we I go. Do I have. have another. Actually, yeah, yeah. I was going through my stuff and I found a Deadpool keychain. Funko. Oh, sweet. Like that's like this big, and I. It's still in the box. Awesome. 
but I don't even like I, I don't even remember where I got it, and I forgot. I was gonna throw it in the bag, but I forgot. So um, I was gonna give you okay, that. Let's too. try one of these. Okay. We have to tell the people. Yeah. So this is we have to tell for the audio podcast version. This is a flamenco Deadpool. I love so it. He's, he's being like sassy. He kind of reminds got his hips out. You know that scene in uh, um, the mask where Jim Carrey's like at the maracas. Yeah, and he's like in the. Yeah. So that's what this reminded me totally, of. Totally. Totally. Okay. Ready? okay. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Oh, those are great. These are not going to last very long. No, but that's kind of the point. Do you want to open mine now? Or am I? No, I, I want you to open that last. Okay. So it's my turn. Mine's really heavy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so can I, I'm going to pre-explain. Merry Christmas. I'm going to pre-explain. You're very easy to shop for. I'm very easy to yeah, shop for? Yeah, in the fact that like I could buy you. No, no, there's nothing else. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's very underwhelming right now. It's not underwhelming. You're easy to shop for in the fact that like I could find you a Ghostbusters, a Mustang, a Slimer, anything gadgety. Oilers. Oiler. I mean, you're easy to shop for. See, and that's what but I've been what wondering. What I wanted to do yeah, okay. was I wanted to get you an experience. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I made you, I got you gift certificates well, for now. this sex swing. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> well, now I'm terrified. <laughs> I like the darkness. There's something to the feeling of not knowing your surroundings, not seeing the color of things as they appear, but as they truly are. What is this? Too so many? it's a restaurant called Dark Table. Oh, it's I've never been to Dark yes. Table. So what you get to do is you get to go in and have a dining experience in the dark. Yes, I've and they always... guide you, and then you're not completely in the dark. It's not scary. Nothing's popping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you get to kind of like have dinner in a different way. Unreal, dude. So I kind of wanted to get you an experience. Yeah, it's like I was like, I want you to do something that you maybe wouldn't normally do. Totally. No, that's perfect. It like I also just so you know because I know your wife has um like some um allergies allergies yeah and they totally work around all allergies you just have to call i told him i was like his wife she has like some things and his she's wife like, she's broken <laughs> and then they're like just call us and let us know and they're like we'll work around everything perfect but yeah it's i just yeah that's unreal <laughs> she's gonna be really excited yeah. i'm really excited i'm glad i've always wanted to do that it and Teppanyaki is another thing, like Japanese village. Yes, I've never gone. Oh my god! And I've I've always go. wanted to go. Yes, and so that's another thing. It's just like, it's not for like a lack of trying, but it's like it's always I've always just wanted to. I've just never gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas. I feel like I didn't get enough, and I was Why? Gonna, I was gonna get you something else, but then I was like, it would seem weird if I got you like dinner tickets and like a th I don't know. I overthought it maybe. Maybe a little Can bit. We I was talk about this for just one second. <laughs> look how nicely this is wrapped. First of all, and second of all, look at the wrapping paper. Ha Mary Clark miss. Yeah, it's Griswold family Christmas Can we paper. Talk about how big of a dick he is. Why? I love the movies. Yeah. Love the movies. But he is an asshole. Why do you say that? Left his daughter out to freeze to death while they were oh, picked in out the a movie. tree. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like his whole is they're on the I void don't. of like financial ruin. He bounced a check <laughs> to get them to keep the lights on. He like, do you know what I'm saying? Bounced a check to at who? the end when he's like, I wrote this check and I hope they didn't. It wouldn't bounce so that we could have this Christmas. No, you're com <laughs> you are completely misremembering the movie. No, at the end with no. the check. No, the check, it, he's trying to get his Christmas bonus at the end of the movie. Yeah, but he bounced a check he to pay. No, 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 no. He, he, paid, he put a deposit down on putting a pool in the house. Right, 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 right. And he, he's hoping that's, that's not going to bounce right, 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 right. because he's supposed to be getting his Christmas. he wrote Christ a bad check. He's, he's not a nice bad. guy. He wrote a good check. He just didn't. He had I love money. the movies. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. He's a he, How long has it been since you've watched that movie? It's been a while. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell the people what it is. Oh my god. Well, you don't even know what it is yet. I know what it is. Oh, it says do you the know name what it is? on the top? Oh, okay. Yeah. I wanted one of these for ever. Yeah, there you go. Dude. Right? Awesome. It's gigantic. It is gigantic. I love it, dude. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I, it's I, me, it's Adam Bomb. So when it came in from the garbage pail, it's Adam Bomb. I'm gonna open don't it. open it. Okay, because 
I opened it to make sure that it wasn't broken. Okay. Oh no, my atom bomb is yeah. broken. They're, they chipped away some of the styrofoam off the top okay. to put it in between the two pieces. So when you open it at home, you're going to have styrofoam everywhere. Okay, that's And fine. I don't want styrofoam no, no, fine, all fine. over the studio. I love this. Thank you. You're welcome. I really do. I love this. I, I'm so happy that you don't already oh, have no. it. Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't. Thank you. Because that took a while to get. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I love it. But I'm so... I, I, it's so good. It's Adam, amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to, to display this in my house. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, don't ever use it. Oh, well, I might. <laughs> I might put my pop in it. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I think. Dude, thank you so much. Of course. For all Merry, your Christmas. Gifts. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. And I think on that note, we'll run. Well, I think we'll run. We'll run? We're not running. I'm not any- running anywhere. Yeah, we're not running anything. <laughs> I think on that note, we're going to end this episode. Uh, this has been a fun Fun 12 episodes. Yeah, totally. So far. And it's been a good, you know, kind of experiment to get to the end of the year um, because we've been doing it for almost almost three months now. So um, I love it. Please continue to tune in. Thanks for Uh, everybody who does. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who who subscribes and does download our podcast and everything. It's a Christmas present to us. It is a Christmas present to us. So for sure. We have shirts coming in the new year. Yep. Um, we're just waiting on the design and we're waiting on the t-shirts yep. to get printed. And then, so we will have t-shirts in the new year. We're very excited about them. That's going to be cool. Have some merch coming your and way. And then, yeah, we'll see what kind of what kind of merch we go. We'll see where we go with the merch from there. Mm-hmm. But uh, yes, thank you again to everybody that tunes in and all that stuff. And so Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas. And to all, a happy new year. Yes. Happy new year. I'm Lincoln. I'm Abom. We'll see you next year. Next year. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas.